It is time for another scientific experiment and this time I'm going to take a bottle of red wine and I'm going to run it through a water distiller and we'll see what comes out the other side. So let's begin the experiment by pouring the bottle of red wine into the water distiller like this. I could do the I could do the classic uh, pose. That should do it. I have to get the crappy thumbnail with, you know, random text on it. So that's in. And now I'm going to distill this and I'll be back in a moment once that has been done. The distillation is complete and I now have a bottle of a clear liquid and the distiller has this really thick, sticky red syrup which smells like malt extract. I'm going to taste that in a moment and then I'm going to try and reconstitute it. But first of all, I'm going to take some of this now clear wine, if it's like wine at all, I'm going to pour some into a glass. Not a lot because I've got a horrible feeling it might taste awful. I'm going to taste it. Very little of the wine flavour is carried across. That just tastes like diluted vodka with a very slight citrus hint. It's odd. It's lost a lot. It's not even like white wine. It's just basically a clear liquid with most of the character stripped out. Okay, now I'm going to taste some of this syrup. I'm going to stick my finger in. Oh, it's very, very dark. Mmm. Oh. oh, that's concentrated red wine. That is actually really a bit too much. Okay. So I've got here, this uh, is a vodka bottle, but it actually contains a third vodka and two thirds water to bring it to an approximate alcoholic content of 12% ABV. I'm going to put it into the red syrup in here. Is this actually going to dissolve? I shall find out. I shall give it a good swirl. Let you hear that going in. Right, I shall swirl it. Definitely, I'm going to have to avoid spraying this everywhere like I did the first time I did this because uh, that would stain everything. Uh, it's not dissolving very easy. I have splashed it everywhere. That's okay. The carpet is roughly wine coloured anyway. It's dissolving, but I'm going to have to swirl it a bit more. But it's almost there. Yeah, that's more or less it. I'm lying. It's not dissolving. But it will. Yeah, that's good enough. It's the really sticky residue at the bottom that is not doing it right. Tell you what, let's get the bottle and stick the funnel in and we shall pour it in. This is just going to stain everything if I, if I don't get it in right. I've got most of it. I shall show you I've got most of it. So here it goes in. It's very, very red. And slightly foamy for some reason. Oh, it's uh, it's just almost foamed over. It has actually foamed over, right? Tell you what. So uh, I got most of it out, but yes, there is still some there. Right, tell you what. Let's give that a taste now. So this, uh, I'll give it a shake just to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Shake it, shake it. Mm, that has really stained the fingers and everything. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Hey, yeah. Polaroid apparently still making those. Well, it's the name Polaroid's been brought and it's the impossible project has started making the Polaroid stuff again. So let's pour it in. This looks more like red wine, but is it going to taste like red wine? Only one way to find out. Yes, I would say that is very much like red wine. bit more, I'd actually, most red wines, I find them quite tart because of the sort of tannins and stuff like that. So I would say there's something has gone across. It's, it's missing something. It's almost missing a sweetness. But then red wine isn't terribly sweet. I don't drink red wine much. But if someone poured me a glass of that and told me it was red wine, I would think it was red wine. So, um, yeah, interesting experiment. If you distill the red wine, you get a a clear, dry, almost like just a, a dilute vodka 
And if you then reconstitute the original syrup, this almost suggests that you could buy bags of the syrup and just add it to vodka and turn it back into wine again. That would be quite handy for keeping wine in storage. But uh, yeah, it it does reconstitute with the colour and everything. So that was a, that was worth doing. That was a very interesting experiment.